The church is located inside Bun Presbyterian Church at 561 South Prescott Street, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Dr. Darnell Goose Jr., Senior Pastor of the Cathedral Praise Church of Memphis Incorporate, and I hope to see you there. Listen to the Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got a new one. He just recorded a new one. The, hey, John, the, the old commercial's playing. Yeah. Yeah, we want to run. Yeah, because this, this is old. Okay. Go get tested for HIV. Yeah, take that one. I'll burn that one up. AIDS has become the third leading cause of death among African Americans between the ages. Is it on in here? He's going to get it for the next break. Don't talk about the this. This is the last one. The monitor is going to be going crazy with that. 25 and 34. So the spread of HIV okay. AIDS is a single they greatest health crisis currently oh. confronting oh. African Americans. Hey. Hey. Ain't no boring shoes, that's played out. The same is lame. Turn up the bling with Sean Clemens. Her boutique of customized kicks and other items can be found on Facebook and Instagram at that one cute dimple. Call her today at 265-5861. You bring it and she'll bling it. The Unleashed Voice magazine is here and you can find it in a location near you. Side Street, Spin Street, Cafe Eclectic, and many other sites. Check out TVMag.com for exclusive content, to sign up for subscriptions, and to get your business in our magazine. Don't forget to evmag.com and follow our social media movements. Would you like to donate or become a sponsor with our radio show? Want to be a guest? Do you have any show ideas? Go to relationshipunleashed.com today and let your voice be heard. Want to call in? Call us 260-5926. Let's talk about money. Join us on August 29th at 325 Wagner Street, as well as Parker hosts our next empowering conversation with Raven Brown Investments. Go to relationshipunleashed.com today to register for free. Join Relationship Unleashed for our first annual Night of Elegance, a benefit for the Relationship Unleashed nonprofit. The Night of Elegance takes place Let's September 24th from 7 until midnight. Everyone is a VIP. Tickets are only available online and they're $50. You can find tickets on relationshipunleashed.com. And we're back. You can go to uh, www.eventbrite.com and search Relationship Unleashed, One Night of Elegance. Yes. To get your tickets. You can only pre purchase. We do not accept money. We do not and will not accept money at the door. Please pre purchase. We expect this event to sell out. This is the show where we educate, empower, and enrich the community. This is the Unleashed Voice on KWAM 990 Talk Radio. Uh, once again, September 24th is going down, a night of elegance. We're gonna, is it an all white affair? What are we doing? No, it's huh. just a night of elegance. A night of elegance. I'm wearing white. Where did you I'm get that pure. from? So, uh, we have a call. Oh, Lord, we hadn't talked about nothing. Hey, caller, <laughs> you're live on the livest radio show on KWAM 99 Talk Radio, even though we have not talked about anything. Go ahead, call Oh, well, what are you doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Who is this? Proverbs. Proverbs. The earth. What's up, earth? I'm wind and she's fire. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, man? What's, What's going on? I'm going to carry in on your, your topic um, about six things black people do this to make their money up. Okay, yeah, well, you, you can start us off with one thing. What's number one? Well, I'm going to say uh, a second one. Uh, Hot Wheel Flames. What's it called? <laughs> 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 Y'all playing my jumbo books. <laughs> <laughs> I won $500 last year. Uh, I'm going to
playing jumbo bucks. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Well, we thank you for calling in. We're going to get this list down. Thank you for calling in, sir. I mean, Earth. Come on, Earth. Cars, clothes, scratch outs. Now, wait a minute. I, I, no, I, I, uh, 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 I smoke, hey, Earth. Earth, Earth, Earth. This is, this is wind talking. I smoke cigars. You ain't gonna tell me I can't spend $10 on a cigar. Oh, no. Earth, whatever. Earth, bye. See you later, Earth. Thank you, Earth. All right. So, the topic of this radio show. Earth lost his mind if I can't smoke my dog on cigar. What else? Six biggest mistakes that black people make with their financial slip-ups. All right. So, we're going to talk about money. And this show is related to our financial empowerment workshop that's coming up on the 29th. So we're trying to give you a precursor of what's going on, why people stay in poverty, uh, how you could be disproportionately uh, ignorant about your money because you don't know things. Because I'm, I'm part of this myself. I'm not eliminating myself. Because I tell you, you can look at, you can look at my uh, account and it will tell you what my value is. <laughs> All right, well, we're going we gonna to move. We're moving too slow. Come on, so, let's go. Rock and roll, get it going. So, uh, write this down. The six big mistakes that black people make with their money. I, I, don't, I can't talk about white people. I'm not white. I'm black. So, I'm going to talk about black people. Number one is... So, okay, before you begin, this is not our list. We got this list off Ebony. Ebony.com. It's my list, too. Hey, up here for stuff yeah, I'm in pertains to me. All right, let's go. Number one is black people do not have a budget. So not having a budget is a mistake that most black people make because you need to keep track of your uh, mon- monthly uh, expenditures, uh, you know, when you use your car, uh, spending, all of the above. You have to have a budget. So number one, we make mistakes by not having a budget. Anything you want to say about that? Okay, I'm going to be the devil advocate. I do not have time to write down everything that I spend all day long. That's, I don't have time. That's why your bank account reflects you don't have time to write down what you don't spend every day all day long. Okay, so in the money mistake, they said not having a budget. Mm-hmm. They said you need to develop a want and a need. Okay. And in your budget, you got to cut the want out. Mm-hmm. and use that money to create a saving cushion. Mm-hmm. Because I want a whole lot, but do I really need it? And one other tip they tell you, what you do with your money. They say, out of your check, 65% of your income should go to the things you need. Mm-hmm. Rent, groceries, mortgage, utility, transportation, gas, See y'all. casino. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> okay. 20% go towards savings to reduce debt. Mm-hmm. 15% go towards the things you want, such as vacation, hanging out with your friends, having that top chef margarita. Whoop, whoop. Mm-hmm. So that way, you've taken care of your obligations because you've already appropriated 65% towards the things you need. That's how you recover. And they get two websites you can go to to help you track your money. Quickenintuit.com and Mint.com to get you started on a good budget. Money mistake number one, not having a budget. Ding, ding. All right, so number two is, number one was uh, not having a budget, and number two is a good one. Number two, loaning money to family and friends instead of saving or paying down debt. Loan me $1,000. They said to avoid this, (laughs) you just say no. And that's a problem right there because I had this experience one time. I had a person to give me a call and ask, could they borrow some monies? And I let them borrow some monies, and I did not get my monies back, and they were family. So to avoid um, you getting my money that I have to save or money I have up for emergency, do not loan money unless you can put this stuff in writing, draw up a payment plan, uh, uh, create a loan schedule, uh, so they can repay you back because most of the time, from my experience, I'm black. When you loan money to black people, I'm black. You're not going to get your money back. Now, I can't talk about nobody else. But I'm going to talk. That's from experience. I'm not telling what I heard. I'm anyway, telling you what I know. I have given black people, I'm black, money. And I, I'm, I'm still looking forward. What year is this? I'm going to take up. I'm going to take up. Take up on. I'm I, Take up on. I will say something. There was a 2013 study done by Prudential, Mm -hmm. African American Financial Experience. Uh And they said black families 
-hmm. are often financially responsible for family members. Okay. Fifty-seven percent of those respondents to that survey mm -hmm. said that they provided support for another family member or unemployed friend. Okay. Nearly the double, nearly double the rate of the general population. All right. So, being set in that paradigm, mm -hmm. you can expect that you're going to have to loan money out. Well, actually, you might as well stop saying loan it. You might as well just yeah. loan it yeah. away yeah. and don't even expect it back. Absolutely. Because when you say you're going to loan something, you're going to have some problems because mm -hmm. you can run that money back. And mm -hmm. you know they're not going to pay you back. Not mm -hmm. a dime. Not a dime. Like I do you. Loan me $100. <laughs> no. And that's how you avoid loaning yeah. money out. You don't, you don't have to give an explanation. No is a complete sentence. So if you have trouble, call me. I spit no out like a machine gun. <laughs> and you don't ever have to worry about arguing about You say, no. no, no. no, 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 no. But tell people what to do. Okay, so in the event you do loan out money. I am from experience. This okay. experience right here. So this is what you do. This is what this is what you do from experience. You always draw. Don't give them nothing. That's what experience right there. You always draw up a contract. You draw up a contract. Uh -huh. And you can go on this website, lawdepot.com, get a promissory note. Have them to sign. You sign and get it notarized. That way you can take them to small claim court to get your money. Well, and, and, then, and then you got to spend $100 on a small claim court. Go to Judge Judy. Judy. So to avoid that. Go to Judge Judy. No. Uh -huh. All right. So number one was create a budget. Budget. Number two was loaning money, money to family loan members. Loaning money to family members. Instead no. of saving or paying down debt, say no. No, no. And we're going to start with number three after this first, uh, second break. Hold number on. three what is... About, what about Facebook friends? Mark Benson says uh, these have to be a Caucasian. Said, Don't say what Mark just said. I'm saying, he said he broke for the same reason. So it's not black folk problem. Well, see, Mark, I can't... Mark, call the station. Our number is 901-260-5926. 901-260-5926. That's the number. But number three is this one. And we're going to take a break and we're going to come back. Number three is the reason that black people make mistakes with monies is living... Check to check and not having an emergency fund. That's yeah. number three. So this is our last pause for the call. We're going to come right back and we're going to jump into living check to check without having an emergency fund. I want, I want y'all to call in and tell the truth. Because yeah. if we had a Pinocchio reader and y'all tell me y'all got six months of savings, sure. I call up here and tell that lie. Give me a dollar. 260-5926. So. 901. This is the Unleashed Voice, the baddest radio show on KWAM 990 Talk Radio. This is our second pause for the calls. We'll be right back. Rest in peace, Miss Ruby Wilson. Have you ever known? Let me shoot one of y'all. I think we can say My Has come alone. Oh, we reach for a dollar. My lonely nights are over. Thank you, Dula. <laughs> Hope our new commercial come in. Love the new commercials. Uh, he's going to have to. Next show. <laughs> yeah, because oh, I mean, man. they told us that we know about stuff like this. Thing. Thing. I don't worry about it, no big deal. Hey, so you just tuned in with us. Now, y'all know. Tell them family members, no. Don't get them no money. No. So we've already done number one. Number one, not having a budget. Number two, loaning out money to family and friends. Instead of saving and paying down debt, which is great on number three, is living paycheck to paycheck. Right so okay. when you come back off this commercial break, we're going to dive back in. Talk well, about just, we may just play it in the middle of the show or something. Not having uh, an right phone. So we need feedback on what you do in a situation like that. Do you know family members' money and expect to get it back? Do you make them sound kind of every note? How is your budget? How do you keep up with your budget? You got some websites that you can check. Don't out. give them a damn dime. No. <laughs> so, this is a free country. Don't ask me for no money. No. For our empowerment workshop coming up on the 29th, we're going to have Wells Fargo, State Farm. Child, I gave somebody some money. What year is this? We're going to open up Wall 16. I gave some money away. Oh, wait. I'm still waiting on it. I ain't got it back yet. And then, them jokers, I see them every day. I ain't got a chance. You ain't get your 